Good morning and welcome to the Media Speaks Live Saturday morning news show. I'm D Lake for Press. I'm joined by two contestants in the Resist NSA and TSA contest on Infowars.com for $10,000. That's right. From the Media Speaks, the technician on a mission, writer, director, producer, and star of Genesis. The movie trailer, KP, Kyle Phillips. How you doing today, D-Lake? I'm doing good. Kyle, how are you doing? Oh, I'm doing fantastic. Ready to have a great show, sit down with you guys, and uh, talk to Sam about his entry, too. I think it's going to be a great show. We're also joined by Sam. I be the Ganji, Sam of the Correct Views, Sam from the band Passing for a special musical project, Closet Monster, and their music video entry into the InfoWars contest, iCharts. Samuel. Greetings, unsettled souls, and a welcome to the Saturday edition. Oh, Kyle, I'll tell you, I got up today, to, got ready to do the show, did not get to enjoy a delicious bowl of cereal. Did you survive your outing? Um, uh, my out? Oh, 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 you're talking about in Genesis. <laughs> the... Sorry, I'm being a little bit distracted. There's noise coming up from upstairs. But, uh, no, actually, I had a really? delicious breakfast this morning that wasn't sugary cereal, um, although that does usually set me off the end and into a high rate of action sequences. That was, I watched that entry, and it was hilarious. I Thank you, sir. I still I haven't seen the the passing time entry. Um, I don't know where it's posted at. I didn't see that Closet it was up. Monster. I didn't know until. No, the, the the passing time entry is just a tiny bit behind, which was on our end with uh, getting everything mixed down in time. So for anybody waiting for the platform video, D Lake did an amazing job, and we're probably going to enter it in a future Alex Jones contest. But the eye charts one is completely done, and it's uh, Serenity from Passing Time and Noses, uh, uh, a local area rapper from around here that I actually went to college with. We had run into each other at Buzzbin, and I had, uh, I, he, he was rapping, and I went ahead and did a couple of the verses from the one I did by myself. And we started talking, had a few drinks, and decided to make Closet Monster an actual project. So iCharts is the first release since it's been anything other than me and a one dollar microphone on, in my bedroom. So. so that did make it into the contest on time. Yes, then. yes. And where can people find that at? I don't. Well, they can find it on YouTube.com/slash Closet Monster Band. Uh, the trouble is, I don't know where Alex has them. Uh, do you know where Genesis is? Because I haven't seen it either. And I know Alex is obviously very busy over there, but I, I have this contest. I've not been able to find where everything is. Oh, well, I don't think they've put anything up online yet. I know you can find uh, Genesis, uh, my entry on YouTube on the MediaSpeaks.com. Uh, on, I think I put it on Vimeo and Daily Motion as well, but they have not put yes, up a contest. A contest page yet. I'm sure they will. I mean, I wouldn't expect them to this quickly. The contest was over on the 7th. That's only a few days back. They need time to actually watch the entries, go through them, uh, see which ones are serious entries, which ones qualify, because they, they need to watch them all first, right? They can't just, you know, go quickly and put them all together on a website. You might have something in there that's inappropriate or that they don't want on the site. Yeah, I, I want to I wanna give a shout out to uh, Mikhail Phelan too, because I was asking him questions about the uh, the end of iCharts as to whether, because we were trying to prove a point, not make an adult film, but I wanted to make sure that everybody, that, and he thought it was appropriate that, you know, we, we drew the line at the right spot. So that was. Sam, cool. I don't know. What, what, what was your video iCharts uh, appropriate? Yes or no? I mean, the, it. it it boarded on pornographic there. So you mounting? Uh, the, the funny thing was, I actually, uh, you'll be happy to know, <laughs> like, uh, I had shorts under my towel, you'll be happy to know. Oh, I uh, haven't seen this yet. This is the first time hearing that it's posted. Can we watch well, it? Can I'm, we check uh, it out? I'm going to it on YouTube right it's now. It's only like two minutes long. I'd, I'd be honored. Let me go mute so that you don't hear my BS on that. Uh, well, here, let's, 
let's let D like find it first and pull it up. But so it's about like eye charts, like the eye charts, like at the uh, doctor's No, uh, it, it, the lyrics are uh, his. Well, he knows has the chorus. It's uh, D E A N E A. Uh, basically, they're all like eye charts. All the all the government acronyms is like looking at an eye chart. You know what I'm saying? Uh, type okay. in T S A N S A contest too on there. Be like. Did you say the guy that you made this video with? His name is Noses. Yeah, he spells it. It looks like Nosies. Uh, there's a. It's it's off of some quote from a, a book or a, um, a game that he likes, and it's like K-N-O- net my nipple no. Yeah, yeah, K N O W Y S Noses. <laughs> like, did he put his naff in the water and it turned to nud? Yeah, I had not thought of it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm making making uh-huh. biblical jokes. Look, I don't know what's going on. Uh, I had it on a so post. Yeah, my... scroll down, scroll down online. It'll come up. Yeah, I got it on my page somewhere. Yeah, I didn't realize this. I put it on YouTube. YouTube was being all finicky, like a cat. Like, nah. Yeah, it was. I tell you, know, like you what, wasn't playing stuff properly. I have been I've been working diligently to find a way to get around YouTube. Daily Motion crashed on me the other day during a Fukushima update, which means you, Kyle, you know, we'll get to it later. When you crash on Fukushima Day, you know you're done. <laughs> yeah, which <laughs> I mean, I've been uh, I've been thinking about it too, and I, I think I'm gonna buy a hard drive and just back everything we have up because I've been thinking about that and getting worried about YouTube. My question is, how much can YouTube really store? When you think about just how many videos we have on YouTube, we probably have about right. a thousand, probably about a terabyte worth of video up on YouTube, just us, between right, us four. Right. And what kind of protection do we have on there? Look, Kyle, I mean, we're, we're getting really personal. In, in today's headlines, and the title of this video includes credit card hackers. Okay, credit card hackers hit Neiman Marcus. This was a red headline link on the Drudge Report this morning. Neiman Marcus says that it's the latest victim of data thieves who made off with the credit card information of an unknown number of customers, similar to uh, what happened lately at Target. And Target says data breach up to 110 million customers. One out of three Americans that shops at Target giant US retailer Target said Friday that up to 110 million customers Target otherwise known as the place that people that don't want to shop at Walmart go uh, those customers have had their personal data stolen in a data breach sharply raising its initial estimate the number of people affected represented one in three Americans and the scope of the information stolen was much broader than originally thought Target admitted Target initially reported on December 19th, my daughter's birthday, that payment, happy birthday, uh, that payment card data of some 40 million customers had been obtained by the hackers. Look, guys, I don't know, I don't know what else to tell you. Hackers are getting all the information from these giant corporations, and they're massive. Uh, you know, they're supposed to protect all information, but now it's not protected, and I don't know what to tell you. Well, that sucks because you, you, you hit upon a personal point for me in that I, I work behind where I work behind where I work, I should say, is a Target. And again, you're not Walmart is how you get shopped at a did lot of times. Shop there so, before, did you shop there shortly before Christmas, guys? Was yeah. your, were, were you guys uh, uh, cashless society cards? Uh, Scared. No, thankfully I did not. Hacked? I'm lucky I did not use. Kyle's uh, being really quiet on this one. Kyle, did you shop at Target? One um, out of three. I did it. Shop there. There's three of us. On Megan the show. did. I think Megan I. Megan did. did, and I was with her. I was with her when she did. We bought a Trivial Pursuit <laughs> because we wanted to play with some friends. So yeah, we were we went there. Do you enter your uh, PIN number, or did you just press the credit button? I think Megan pressed the uh, credit button, I'm pretty sure. But, I mean, she got issued a new card from her bank and everything, and they, they like... sign, and then they have your digital signature. They know what our signatures look like, our fingerprints look like, our irises look like, our faces look like, our butt and our penises look like. Guys, come on! <laughs> 
But Scientific what do you think? Low belly button cheese from human bacteria. I mean, guys, come on! Yeah, I heard about that. That looks disgusting. But I think these hackings, like Target and this other clothing store now, do you think that these are real hackings, or do you think this is some sort of false flag to get people behind SOPA and PIPA and get behind internet blockage bills? Yeah. Because then they can say, we're doing this to protect you, like when one-third of you got your shit hacked to Target. Right. Okay, so Kyle, uh, I wanted to ask you this. Do you think the credit card hackers could be a possible problem reaction solution type scenario? I definitely do, and I think that uh, even if it's not, even if these are real hackers, which I honestly doubt, uh, I think that it probably is somehow government affected. This isn't anonymous. Anonymous doesn't hack people. They hack banks and evil giant corporations, but... What's really the answer to this? Is it to block up the internet to try and make us safer, or is it to get rid of these giant fucking corporations that have such a pull on the market that they become targets? And <laughs> sorry, I didn't even mean to make that joke. They become targets, and they uh, they do hold one third of the Americans' credit card information. No companies should be so big that they have one third of the entire fucking market, the entire population shopping at their stores. And just really quickly, a little tirade, I have an article that's going to be coming out within the next few days on the mediaspeaks.com, and it's uh, an article about how you talk to a lot of people, libertarians, free market people, uh, they think that corporations are somehow part of the free market. And let's tell you, giant corporations are not part of the free market. The idea of a corporation, a limited liability, is an idea that's invented by government and allowed by government. If it wasn't for that, which is something government allows, government creates, corporations wouldn't exist like they do. They wouldn't get to the sizes they do because there would be liability on the business owner. When there's no liability on the business owner, and if you go a billion dollars in debt and have to shut the doors, the only person getting screwed is your stockholder, that's when you get these crony capitalist corporations. That's when you get these giant Walmarts and McDonald's and Target. So if we were to, you know, get rid of a lot of the legislation that allows them to exist on the giant scales that they do, there wouldn't be giant corporations to get hacked and get a third of our information. Make sense? <laughs> Makes a little bit of sense. Uh, Sam, how do you feel? Yeah, if you're not you're not part of the libertarian ideal, I would say. Or uh, if you are not living by the same laws as everybody else in the country is, for one. Um, now, I'm not saying that we're in favor of all of the laws, but I mean, within reason. The, I mean, the, the basic structure of the country. If if you're not paying any taxes at all, and everyone else is, then, or if you're paying a much less, t higher tax rate, then you're not part of the system, you're part of the problem. A uh, nuke industry is another great example of an industry that would not exist if we didn't uh, subsidize them. So when people say, oh, well, that's just the way the world is. No, it's not. That's the way government is. Right, and Sam, we're going to get to uh, radiation spikes and uh, your latest uh, total uh, Fukushima news. But before we do, in the headlines also is Cruz calls president, quote, dangerous and terrifying. Senator Ted Cruz has told a conservative conference that President Barack Obama is lawless, providing the right-wing rhetoric that makes him so popular in his home state of Texas. The conservative Republican laid out his reasoning for why he thinks the president is dangerous and terrifying. According to the statesman, Cruz also slammed Obama for what he referred to as a platform of lawlessness on a breathtaking scale. Guys, hold up a second. You want to know how to deal with lawlessness, guys? With the damn law. The U.S. Constitution, the supreme law of the land. And well, I, don't can I, if, just... I don't know if Goldman Sachs' devil husband, who looks like he's wearing some kind of weird contact lenses, on some sort of freakish technological advanced uh, congressman thing. I don't know, guys. Well, can I just interject that there's what something else? What about the else? promise zone? Ahead, There's Kyle. something to be seen from this, which is, and this is something that I've been noticing happening more and more and becoming more and more prevalent, that 
and, and watch for this because I've seen Obama say it on his Facebook. I've seen a lot of senators and politicians say it on Twitter, Facebook, and articles that the new talking point, the new buzzword is to say that we're a nation of laws. Is that really how we want to define ourselves? Is that really how we want to put ourselves out to the rest of the world? We're a nation of laws. That's how we define ourselves, not a nation of people. We're a, we're nation, a nation of, of law. one law, the supreme law, the supreme law of the land, the United States Constitution. But this idea that they keep saying that we're a nation of laws, that's not how I want to be described. That's not how we've yeah. been described in the past. That, that's tyranny. When you start describing yourself as a nation okay. of laws, come on. Kyle, and that's not uh, just like Ted Cruz. Obama said it. No, Kyle, I like where you're going with this. Can you expound upon that? And Sam, if you could chime in, that'd be great. I mean, it's just I when I see more and more politicians saying this, it's putting it in our head. It's putting in our in our in our in our psyche that we are a nation bound by laws, and that's what keeps us safe. That's what keeps everything working is these laws and these punishments for people who go against it. No, we're a nation of people. We're a nation of, of, of uh, innovation. We're a nation of freedom. We're not a nation of laws. We're a nation of free people. That's all I have to say about it. What about you, Sam? I think it's rather alarming to find that they – they they're pointing at Cruz as a dangerous person, um, and yet you know you got Chris Christie shutting down freeway systems and people uh, are dying on the way to the hospital. Uh, now, <laughs> I'm not saying I'm going to try to avoid talking about Chris Christie and his uh, fancy pants decision to shut down bridges. Okay, uh, you, you shut you down, got, I, and I'm not I, saying I, no one's reporting on it, but. Sam, no, Sam, I'm sorry. I have to shut down your bridge. Okay? You're trying to talk? You're trying to talk right now, right? Well, I'm sorry. I'm backing you up. Bridge shut down. No, 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 no. Your whole talking uh, flow is going to be backed up like traffic. Endlessly. And you're gonna, no, no, no. Sam, you're going to be stuck in traffic. Just wait to speak, okay? Just wait to drive, just wait to drive home. It's not going to happen today, okay? Because we're going to shut down the George Washington Bridge. The GWB. And people are I don't even want to die. talk about that. But you know what? Sam, that's what gangsters do. Kyle. C I have Kyle to give was on something on... totally different, Sam. And you started going off on Chris Christie, <laughs> which I didn't even want to talk about today. Kyle, can you reel this in? Kyle, go, well, go back. Wait, I, I didn't. I, I'm still. I'm still. Stupid. No. No, so, Sam. Sam, I'm sorry. You're not getting through this bridge. Kyle, go ahead. I, I just want to give credit yeah, I mean, to one person who I, I don't like to give credit to, but you know who pretty much broke that story and who kind of brought it into the public light? Rachel Maddow. Glenn Greenwald. Oh, Rachel Maddow, MSNBC? Yeah, she's been talking about that actually for like a few yeah. weeks now. She was like at the tip of that, which I hate to give her credit because she's a lion. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go down that route. But not somebody she's that I would listen to. Talking about the Talk to. Brothers uh, a lot lately, and trying, yeah, to tie them, trying to tie them to different projects and say that they're funding different projects. And her and and, and the and, and the Cock Brothers uh, manager or, or one of their lawyer buddies uh, sent her a message and said, "Rachel Maddow, you will read this statement on air." And she's like, "I don't take requests. I don't just read yeah. what." other people tell me to read. It's like, oh, Rachel, uh, you're telling me that you don't just read what other people want you to read and you work at MSNBC and get all your talking points and your marching orders straight out of the White House and you're so left liberal leaning that you're about to fall over. And, and, and Candace uh, Salima, I saw she posted that uh, Rachel Maddow was having um, uh, depression and uh, mental issues. And all her guns need all her all Rachel Maddow's guns need to be taken away immediately. Rachel Maddow, you should have no Second Amendment. And that's my rant on that. Go ahead, guys. Well, she probably I'd be I'd be in a in a awkward position too if I had all that pressure coming down on me from cock. Mm -hmm. The cock brothers. The big what's, cock their, brothers. what's their attorney's name? Ball. Cock Ooh. and balls. Johnny, Johnny Cochran. No, um, um, I, I want to know how in the world, though, 
words like dangerous get used on people like Ted Cruz, but you don't find it used on things like this. That's 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 alarming. Yeah, why is somebody Ted Cruz is is dangerous? Like that's that's one of those things. You can look at everything. The just the way that they phrase things within the media and the politicians themselves talking about it to try and get you to already have a view on it, to already believe in something like Obamacare, you know, like uh, Affordable Health Care Act. It all sounds really nice. The Patriot Act. Sounds dangerous. They always word things. Yeah, they word things in a way where you can already tell what they what they want you to think about it. And usually, if they have to do that, it means you're not going to think about it what they want you to if you actually look into it. Just like how they've been calling the Tea Party terrorists. Those dangerous Tea Party terrorists. Do you like? Do you know any yeah. of these Tea Party terrorists? Yeah, yeah. They're terrorists and extremists, and if they are, then so is the rest of Congress. They have a 6% approval rating. The president, his approval rating is slipping. He came back early. Michelle's still in Hawaii, I think. I don't know. She's having a great time. She's dancing, shaking her laffy taffy, according to Common Sense. And uh, Cruz calls the president dangerous and terrifying. Thought we did a good job of covering that. Uh... For Anthony Court, let's not forget that Cruz is married to uh, Goldman Sachs uh, insider. And, uh, you know, I mean, but it's like, you, you could be married to the devil and still be a good person. Target says uh, data breach up to 110 million. That's one out of, ten of, uh, one out of three Americans, basically. Um, guys, did you know that a woman... Uh, is to give birth to her own granddaughter um, in the United States. It's right in Los Angeles. Um, a 58-year-old 50, Utah woman is expecting a baby. She is caring for her daughter with plans to give birth to her own so granddaughter. She's the surrogate. She's the surrogate mother for the baby that was implanted, an embryo that's correct. And uh, they actually uh, went through a bunch of... Uh, Navro, the nurse's aide, had to undergo tests to ensure she was physically fit to give birth. She had been menopausal for about 12 years, but she gave herself hormone shots every day for three months to prepare for being implanted. She and her daughter also had to sign contracts about parental rights and take three months of state-ordered counseling. Quote, the psychologist wanted to make sure we knew what we were getting into, that we were mentally prepared, said McKinnon. Mostly, surrogate contracts are with people you don't know. So it was, uh, she's quoted as saying, it was weird to have a contract with my mom. Doctors gave her only a 45% chance of having an egg being successfully implanted. But it worked the first time, and the pregnancy has gone smoothly, with no morning sickness, cravings, or discomfort. McKinnon read up on pregnancy tips. I told her to drink water, to not eat peas. Okay, the daughter is trying to tell her mother... I, I had heard they were bad and not to cross her legs before be, be, because uh, cross her legs because it's, it because it might hurt her circulation. Guys, Kyle, Sam, are, are you guys gonna tell your dad how to beat his own cock? No. <laughs> you know, tell the mother. But may, maybe she knows the like. No, no, no. Maybe she knows the like that no, she is so Sam, unbelievably no. stupid that she doesn't want her daughter to come out as stupid as she is. So she's asking her mother not to do the things that led to her stupidity, be like. What are you talking about? You how did they... Know? Wait, Sam, how did... Guys, okay. <laughs> b b b before we continue, we still have five em embryos left. So if, 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 if anyone else wants to be impregnated by McKinnon's... Uh, uh, you know, egg or whatever, oh. or seeded egg embryos, or I mean, so they seeded the egg these babies. before they put it in. Before you can they have put these it in babies. The these babies are yours. Yeah, that's right. So, so they seeded it before they put it in the mom. That's how they did it. They didn't do it the fun way. The yeah, you know, 
Yeah. Okay, mom. Okay, mom. Here's my husband. You guys go in the other room. Yeah. Hey. You got hey, my mom. egg up in there. Hey, mom. My egg was <laughs> seated. Some movies that start that way. <laughs> mom, my egg was seated, but I can't carry it. Can you do me a bit? Can you do me a big, huge favor? Do me a solid. Do me a solid. I'll sign the contracts. Whatever. Just put my baby in you. He put a baby in me. Now I want to put it in you. <laughs> <laughs> but no hey, problem. no, I got no, I got no problem with that. Do you? I mean, that people want to have a baby. Some junk don't work. Her mom's junk do work. Really? The baby. If you want, if they want to risk it, it's their bodies. Yeah, I mean, as long, I mean, the kid's gonna come out fine and everything, right? People do that all the time. People do that to themselves when they have issues, like. Uh, a lot of people will have a, an embryo, you know, an egg fertilized and then put inside of them if, if there's issues with, like, low sperm count or what have you, different medical issues. I'm not a doctor. I have no problem with that, though. I mean, <clears throat> people want to have a baby. I mean, if they're going through all this hassle and they're going through this much trouble to have a baby, that's obviously the type of person that you want raising a child, right, as opposed to the people who have seven babies living at their parents on welfare in the inner city. I'm fine with these people doing that. I have no problem with the medical technology. Where are you guys at? Uh, it, it, like, as, long as, uh, as long as they know the risks of her taking those hormones at that age, I mean, it's up to her. The last thing we need is the government interfering in one more aspect. Yeah, I mean, I, I, if it was up to me, I would have said they should have put the unfertilized egg in and then had them fertilize it, but... You know, it's up to them. It's their, it's their thing. Bring the family closer together. Keep family the ties. Family. Yeah. All right. Next up on the list is radiation <laughs> spikes. Uh, Sam, take it away. Radiation spikes on the west coast of the United States. Where is that coming from? Let us know. The most important thing I can point to anybody is uh, Ukiah's blog. I'm going to look it up real quick. Um, because there is, I talked about this again, shout out, a shout out to Mikhail Phelan. Uh, sorry. Um, it's, they're saying that because they're finding radium and thorium, that it's not likely that it's from Fukushima. And you hear about that over and over and over again. Don't worry about it on California. It's not from uh, Ukiah's blog. I mean, it's not from Ukiah's blog. I'm talking and calling something up at the same time. It's not from Fukushima. That's utter BS, do you like? Ukiah's blog dated August 29th, 2013, which is well before they found this here. Fukushima alpha radiation dangers include thorium, Polonium, radon, radium, plutonium, and uranium. So, uh, for everybody who hasn't seen my maths of Fukushima update, uh, I did it the last two nights in a row. Uh, I want to thank Truthstream Media for helping me promote it. But um, there is no way that you can let them tell you that that was not from Fukushima. Um, there's only two ways it could be there. It would either be there from Fukushima or from a, uh, a, a routine release on one of the other nuclear power plants on the West Coast, which I haven't heard about happening. So all signs seem to point to Fukushima. We've got mutated whales. If you could see the ocean floor, it'd be like, there are bodies littering the ocean floor like trash at a landfill. It's everywhere you look on the ocean floor. Catches are coming in mutated Arnie Gunderson has now said that he will not eat any food out of the Pacific Ocean. Um, again, it reminds me biblically of uh, where it says in Revelations about, a th I think it's uh, Revelations 8, uh, chapter 8, about the third of the waters being poisoned. Um, let's hope that's not it, because after that, I do believe a third of the people die. Um, this is a very, very big deal, and if you're not religious, then you can go ahead and, you know, make a non-religious reference from a movie if you want. I don't know what your reference... There isn't a reference point for a disaster this bad, in a nutshell. And uh, to answer your question, d like it's most likely from Fukushima. It's got to be. Doesn't it make you happy that you live right in the middle of the country, away from the ocean, Sam? Uh, yeah, I'm very happy about it. But I, and in the report I mentioned, they're finding elevated radiation levels in snow. It's concentrating in some of the snow. And I thought about it the other day because I bought up a snowball and threw it at Christelle. 
and she turned around at the last minute, and it went right in her face, which it never, <laughs> exactly. And then the, your your next thought is, oh, that yeah, that probably wasn't such a good idea. And it's a shame that we have to live like that. It's a real D -Link, shame. are you okay? We have to live are like you, that. Did you get electrocuted, D Lake? That was the best sound effect timing ever. It sounded like somebody like that's that sounds like the noise that makes right when you get electrocuted. Yeah, I think it was the radiations. I almost got electrocuted to bring to you guys uh, closet ah. monster. Are you ready? Right, I promised this earlier in the show, and now here, here we are. Kyle hasn't yet seen this. Let's uh, pump this up. We're going to check out the track uh, by Closet Monster, I Charts. We will resist TSA and NSA tyranny. InfoWars contest, $10,000. Kyle, uh, this, this could be competition. Check it out. Wait, hold on. What's going on? You guys ready for this? I'm ready. The NSA is there to kill freedom. The NSA is there to bring in Agenda 21. The NSA is there with these giant computer programs. Now, now, real quick, what's uh, really cool about this is uh, I actually was uh, in co co call, uh, conference call with Sam, who was telling me his vision for this video, and uh, the whole video is pretty much uh, how he told me it was going to be. Psychology, psychic and choice in a subject in psychology. First Amendment surpassed with a patriot act. Now I'm being tracked by some men in all black. Another agency creates dystopian paranoia. Defense of our children like Saddam by Goya. Surround the enemy of quotation who is the criminal. Hidden agenda with the corruption of the slave. Oh, you guys see the little media, uh, you see the media speak sticker right there? Yeah, hell yeah. Another legal search for like my liberties abolished. Constitution disintegrating, my life being demolished. Time is coming to stand up, attack with aggression, or be extinguished by another great depression. NSA, TSA, CIA, DEA, EPA, USA, DOA, I charts. Should have been an InfoWars sticker for the branding, though, so you could win that money. I charts. NSA, TSA, CIA, NSA, TSA, CIA. I like the chorus. D-A-E-B-A-U-S-A D-A-E-B-A-U-S-A I chose I chose Let's check it out Hey, I know that guy Uh-huh Page after page and line after line Hey, Sam, are you about to get in the tub? What's up? Let's see what's going on Okay, uh, Sam is this where we should stop the video, or should we let it keep going? <laughs> Sam, what is this? I like to pause this part right here. Guy in the closet. What the hell? Sam, this is weird. You try to get it on with your girlfriend, and this guy's right there. Oh, NSA? Keeping track of what you're up to? Huh. Well, InfoWars just uh, played a video last night on their uh, nightly news uh, in bed with the NSA where a guy calls the NSA for sex tips uh, with his girlfriend. It looks like Sam has already made that phone call. Right there, uh, satisfied his girlfriend. She fell fast asleep. Meanwhile, the NSA guy's doing weird, freaky, uh, Uncle Fester type sign language. Like, uh, kind of looks like the white uh, sign language guy from the Nelson Mandela memorial there. I don't know. It's really trippy.
I was mute. I was muted, and every time I went to answer your question, you played the video again. So I wasn't ignoring you. Thank you. That was fantastic. Um, I like that a lot. I, I've noticed uh, with my entry, with your entry, and a lot of the other ones that look like they're uh, a little bit higher quality. Not to say anything bad about the ones that aren't, but they all seem to have that trend of the NSA watching you doing things you would never want to be watched doing, having sex, taking a shower, uh, about to get in the bathtub. I really like that. That was good work, Sam. Thank you very much. I, I saw yours, and I, I, I was incredibly inspired because I was I, I looked at the way like you did your cutaways and that. I was like, oh, it looks really good. Let me put this other light on. I'm going to go out for a second. Go ahead. That was super fancy, and it was kind of like uh, the Sam episode of Cribs. We got to see a little bit more of Sam's house in that one. But no, I like that a lot. And well, I, I had thought about that, because as you watch hey. the video, you'll find that like we've done things at parties. like um, Guys, you, you can hear everything I just played, right? Yes. You're talking yeah. about it now? Yes. Yeah. Okay, sweet, because my headphones totally cut out. I couldn't tell what was going on, and I just jumped back in to tell you guys the truth. So, be like I'm back representing Closet Monster, Sam I beat uh, all that, all that other stuff. Uh, uh, cool video, uh, Sam. Uh, Kyle, what'd you think about it? I thought that it was fantastic. I was just saying, I, I thought that uh, it was really tastefully done. You went about as far as you could, I think, before Alex Jones would be like, "All right, this is this is too much," but really getting across the point of like the NSA fucking spying on you and watching you doing the most intimate of things that you want private within your life. I thought that was really really well done. Um, I, at first, yeah, I'm like, Sam, "What is you this guy?" Should have went to the bathroom to take a crap. <laughs> that would have been good. And then the NSA guy takes a picture of it. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be I, awesome. I'm gonna make a, a prediction that whoever wins this contest, there is there is a scene that takes place in a bathroom. I think that the winner will have that. <laughs> I hope so. No, that was really, really good. I am, I am the right, radiation. Sam. But we, we, we smoothed over the radiation spikes and the whole uh, radiation levels on the West Coast there. And what about uh, the Navy? And my dad was in the Navy, and uh, my dad died about uh, 13 years ago from melanoma skin cancer. He was on a nuclear submarine. Sam, how, how do you feel about that? That is dreadful news. Um, I know that. There is a significantly lower uh, life expectancy for people that work around anything nuclear. Uh, the most frightening story I've ever heard of anything like that was in Russia, where one of their submarines, it's, uh, it's on one of my Fukushima updates, I want to say two or three months ago, that it sank to the bottom of the ocean, and they were trying to get it to, to come back up. So one, I, one thing led to another, and nuclear water came rushing in. And some guy had to go in there in a suit and shut the valve off. Well, uh, keep in mind they have deep Russian voices. Um, he was, they said he was talking like a dwarf in falsetto. He was crapping himself. He was bleeding out of every orifice of his mouth, or every orifice he had, including his mouth. And then, uh, to the horror of other people in the crew, it need the process needed to be repeated, or nobody was going to make it back. So other people had to go into that room that he just went into, and uh, seeing what's happening to this guy uh, in order to save everybody else's life and the crew. And uh, I'm not saying that every every uh, nuclear submarine has these kinds of disasters. Clearly, they don't. But being around that, even to a much lesser degree, just having it around you. Um, unfortunately, yeah, that's that's bad. And uh, I know what you're referring to as well about we just sent. For those of you that don't know, uh, we uh, your tax dollars paid for this. There's uh, like 70, 70 new cancers going on from Fukushima among our servicemen because our tax dollars paid for our country to send the USS Ronald Reagan into uh, ally waters to help, which, you know, obviously it's not like it was a war machine. We can't say we didn't have any business there. We were helping someone. Um, we went through the nuclear waters, and then in return for our help, nobody would allow the USS Ronald Reagan to, to port. So 
Obama, the Obama administration that somehow managed to not have the radiation monitor on the system on the ship working at the time of the earthquake, even though, uh, if you remember in news reports, they knew that this tidal wave was coming and that it could potentially melt the plant down. Somehow the USS Ronald Reagan didn't find it important enough, Kyle, to go ahead and put the monitor on. So we left our boys in those waters, boys and girls, in the waters for over two and a half months without getting them out of there. That's that, the Obama administration at work. That that first story you told about the Russian submarine, um, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that that's what this movie with Liam Neeson and Harrison Ford, a K-19, is based on. Am I right in that? I Russia's don't know. first I nuclear submarine it. malfunctions in its maiden voyage. Crew must race to save the ship and prevent a nuclear disaster. I'm so pretty sure. see it. I think that's what that movie's about. I have that movie somewhere on DVD, and I've watched it. And yeah, that's what it was about. It's like the nuclear submarine like messes up, and they have to like fix it before uh, because if it explodes, it's like within the vicinity of a U.S. ship, and it'll like start the turn the Cold War into the Hot War, if you will. And so, a ton of dudes died from radiation poisoning because it was like one at a time. Like they'd send a dude in, send a dude in to try and fix this thing, and like few people died. I think I think that's probably the same story, because what you were describing sounded like a synopsis of this movie I watched yeah. a few years ago. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, I was saying, like I was saying Kyle, before about my Kyle, dad if, in the uh, Navy, yeah. Yeah, Sam. Go ahead. Sam. No, I was, uh, I was, I, no, I was going to ask you if it was, uh, if you could, uh, if you could post it where I could watch it, put it that way. No, if you I'll knew find of anybody you a place. selling it, anybody that had it, and where to get it at. Sweetness. I'll hook you up. Go ahead, D. Like. Oh no, I was just saying. Uh, my dad, uh, who was in the Navy, and uh, I've actually driven a submarine before. You know, when what? I was a little kid. Yeah. Oh. Periscopes, all that. Been on para been on uh, submarines and also like uh, big uh, battleship cruisers, cruisers. Um, you know. Wow. Uh, here in San Diego, you know, I mean, I'm right by a gigantic naval port, and to think that uh, you know, radiation is hitting uh, you know, like Coronado and uh, Southern California, San Diego area, and um. You know, those hazards and radiation spikes aren't being properly uh, <laughs> reported or testified, like, testified to by the. I know. I mean, a, a not lot not of, not in any way, not in any way that I want to make a video with you in a waterbed, dude. But I love you. You got to get off the west coast. It's dangerous over there. Is that a is that a waterbed in that video? Yeah. See now he's know. interested. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, that just that just makes uh, that just makes uh, his uh, poise and everything uh, his uh, you know uh, that just makes everything a little a little more uh, better like in a circus freak kind of way like oh he can balance on the waterbed you know waterbeds are sweet I had one when I was younger but you know you can't there's only so much Good you can one, do Sam. that <laughs> there's only so much you can do to protect yourself from radiation, sure, you can get the iodine and stuff, and you can avoid eating fish, but there are other ways that you can protect yourself. Isn't that right, D-Lake? I was just going to set you up with that when I asked about the movie, but I wanted to finish D-Lake's pitch. D-Lake, <laughs> D-Lake, you want to you wanna give us a little information about how people can prepare themselves for other situations aside from radiation? Uh, well, I don't know what other people do, but I like to go to the mediaspeaks.com. And watch uh, the new Ge uh, Genesis trailer, and uh, watch live Saturday shows like Credit Card Hackers, Obama Dangerous and Terrifying, Radiation Spikes, and more on TMS. And actually, while I'm doing that, I can click on this separate tab to get the edge. But okay, wait, what? Yeah, that's right. Where you can save seventy percent off on cool. What is this? This looks dangerous and exciting. That's like an axe slash stabbing thing. Hmm. Axe, a stabbing axe, I think, is what you. How dare the about. media speaks have that on their page? But let's check it out anyways. Oh, look at this! The sword from the movie The Hobbit. Ninja throwing stars. Ninja swords. 
Knives? Crossbows? What's that skull thing? Here it is. Hey, look, this is what's on, this is like exactly what's on our page. M48 tactical tomahawk axe with snap-on M48 sheath, only thirty nine ninety nine at the at the Bud K catalog. Just go to Bud, that life Just go to the mediaspeaks.com. See, I don't even know how to get here directly. I don't even know the whole thing. Kyle, you say Bud K's. It's Bud K. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't know. No, Damn. Kyle, just for you, look, because you say Bud K's so much, if I put in Bud K's with an S, dot com, watch where it goes. Some Japanese shit. Maybe we should get them as a sponsor, too. We've said their name enough. They owe us money, I bet. But they already owe us. I bet they do. Do they Wait. sell battle axes? It's it's the page is trying to go there, but it takes a long time to connect well, Kyle, to, the, Kyle, to any the Asian place, websites. <laughs> Kyle, Kyle, any place that sells battle axes might be a kind of dangerous place to go and collect from. You ever thought of that? That's no, true. Just, just look, look, <laughs> look. They have so much amazing stuff, but like like I was trying to say, the easiest like you don't want to go to Bud K's, some Japanese website that sells Buy battle axes. cars, yeah, lame. Like I don't know what the hell. Oh wait, is. there's San Diego. Maybe you should click that last link. Do you like San Diego? Do you need an Acura? Acura. I need a new Acura. I need a DeLorean like uh, Jerry Seinfeld and uh, Pat Oswald. Hey, uh, no. Look, the easiest <laughs> way to get to Bud K is to go to themediaspeaks.com. Click on this link right here to get the Edge. Get that M8 M48 Tomahawk uh, axe right there uh, with sheath. And, uh, you know. Check out the Life Straw. I didn't know that they sold that. That must be new. Oh, yeah. Life Straw right here, only nineteen ninety nine. Oh, you can yeah. turn You can turn uh, your toilet into a drinking fountain. Uh, you can drink your own pee like Kevin Costner with a Life Straw. Yeah, go for it. Why not? Why not? Why I mean, not if... is what I say. Okay. I mean, <laughs> I think we promoted them pr pretty good. Um... You know who really needed? You know who really needed life straws? The United States Navy when they were trying to trying to uh, help uh, the Japanese people uh, clean up the radiation at Fukushima. Sam, I, I mean, had mentioned they, that. I wonder Sam, if life straws were able to do you something. You mentioned for that. Sam. You mentioned that they brushed their teeth with radiation water. Sam. I mean, did that yeah, happen? Yeah, they, uh, they bring the water into de desalinization systems that pull all the uh, salt out of the water, but it, it doesn't filter down to all of the radionuclides properly. And you had Wait. our service people sh uh, showering and drinking and otherwise being exposed, even washing the ship with radioactive water. Sam, uh, Fox News, Fukushima bombshell something before it was news.com. Fox News, Fukushima bombshell exposes cover-up in U.S. Navy sailors. Uh, nuclear cover-up? What radiation question mark? Shh. We're keeping it from the stupid people. Sam, are you keeping this from the people or are you, or, or are you uh, on the other side trying to inform the people? I, I'm telling everyone that'll listen. I, I hope I'm looked at as the the watchman on the wall on nuclear issues here. This is potentially going to involve everybody in the northern hemisphere that wishes to live to move to the southern hemisphere. But when you think about that, I mean, yeah, it might happen in a movie, but can you imagine what log jams we're going to have? What prejudices are going to do? The fact of where someone, I mean, where are you going to move all this pop? population too. Poor people that can't afford to travel. Sick people that can't travel. Mm -hmm. If we end up in a real mess if Unit 4 falls over or any other significant things happen while this is going on, we're in a mess. We're in an awful mess. I know that uh, you can check and I did this independently. I haven't seen this anywhere else. If you check any 40 year time period, be like there's never been a 40-year period that they have gone without an earthquake that is significantly large enough to knock down Unit 4. And yet they're saying oh, yeah. it's going oh. to take 40 years oh. to decommission. Yeah, no, what a great place to put a nuclear power plant. And, uh, hey, you know that uh, San Andreas fault line in California? Hey, 
I think uh, putting a nuclear power plant right there would be an excellent fucking idea. Oh, that's and, safe. Uh, yeah. Nevada, where there's never any earthquakes and, uh, you know, Arizona, you know, anywhere near the... But d like, like, like let's get the stupid taxpayers to no. subsidize it. Let's get the taxpayers to subsidize it because they're stupid enough, do you like? Well, what about subsidizing well, hey guys. marijuana in Colorado? Oh, Kyle just said, hey, guys. What does that mean? Yeah, well, just with uh, with all this radiation stuff happening, maybe we should all pool our money together and buy a floating libertarian island. This is oh, something that's been talked I about a lot. Go. I saw. Oh my God! I'm I'm the one that sent you that link, Kyle. Talk about it. I mean, you if you're a libertarian you like that has enough money to buy a floating fuck, excuse me, a floating island, come on, Kyle. Yeah, and well, no, this is just. I can get a life straw the, for the, 19.99 at Bud K, but Kyle, go ahead. That's just one article that I was just showing on my screen. See. But no, there's there's a lot of people who have Kyle, been talking talk about, about it. it. Talk and about it. Uh, the idea is that they're, they're working on these ideas to make floating islands that are pretty much giant islands made out of floatable devices. Some people have talked about making them out of oil, like old oil platforms, oil rig platforms. What you do is you build an entire city on this floating island with everything you need. You get people to – you get fishermen, you get architects, you get builders, you get a little bit of everybody. You all live on this little island together. You create your own currency. You become self-sufficient, and then you can go wherever you want. You can set up off the coast of the United States. And if you don't like how things are going in the United States, guess what? You cut the rope and you leave. You go somewhere else. And you can always go – if there's too much radiation up in the in the northern hemisphere, you can cut the rope and you can go to the southern hemisphere. You can float out in the middle of the ocean away from everybody because everybody's government's fucked except for years. You'll be just fine. And when Waterworld Genesis happens, guess who's going to be okay? The Libertarians on their island. If I won a hundred uh, million dollars, that's what I would do. Kyle, I would build an island. Kyle, seriously. No, D Lake. Uh, no, I'm building an island. If I ever win a hundred million dollars, you're not gonna stop me, D Lake, from building an island, and that's that. Show the picture. Uh, uh, Sam, what about flying cars? Are those coming soon as well as uh, libertarian <laughs> islands out in the ocean to protect our freedoms on a on a manufactured island? Is that? It, it's it's uh, D Lake. I would you, you had to mention it. They are coming out with flying cars that fly themselves. That you won't necessarily, depending on ordinances where you live, have yogis. Kyle, you, you have a lot of feelings about flying cars, don't you? I would become a trendy for a flying car. In the moment it comes oh, out, you're a seller. I, I absolutely have to have it. I, it. I wild horses. I would do anything to get it. They well, have to the flying car and I'm in. Hey, uh, these, on these people on, are working on it. I but. know. I was showing the link to everybody on my Facebook that would watch, like Nerd of the Year. Wait. Yeah, but these wait, 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 but these flying cars, yeah. as much as wait, 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 hear me out first. What they're 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 talking about them and they've built plans for them and everything, but what that article doesn't account for is the fact that the U.S. government sucks, and no matter how easy they make it to fly, no matter how stupid proof, which I've read a ton of articles on that flying car, they want to right. make it where you pretty much hit a button, it uses GPS, you don't have to fly it at all, you sit back, read a magazine, yep. and it takes you to your destination, but the U.S. government is a bunch of assholes, and they're still going to say that you need a pilot's license. They're still going to say, well, you have to drive it to an airport before you can take off, and you have to land in an airport, even though it's totally safe to take off from wherever you want with the GPS systems in it. You won't see those things taking off out of traffic and you know going ahead of the line. You just won't, even though there's nothing wrong with that. Our government is too much of assholes to let that ever happen. Because I'm excited about it too. Yeah, I'm gonna Kyle, be broke if it ever happens. I'm gonna wait. be so. I'm gonna be living in my flying car. <laughs> <laughs> guys, you can see, guys, you can see uh, flying cars right here on my screen uh, share. Right when I was typing this in, what I was gonna try to say is, I put in flying, the word flying, on Google. Right, flying pig came up ahead of flying car. So I mean, what does that tell you? I mean, well, how I mean, soon are we going to see this flying the car? Must have been the flying pig is more popular than flying car. 
If you look, the third and fourth picture up there on your screen are already built. Uh, that red one was actually yeah, I mean, built in are, like the uh, early 2000s. Okay, so Kyle, uh, what, what's your knowledge about... Well, uh, this looks like the one Sam posted. Uh, is this real or it fake, is. Kyle? That's ahead. not real. That hasn't been made yet, but the one two pictures down is the prototype that they've built. It's the same company that made it, which is actually pretty decent. It's roadworthy, completely street legal. It runs on regular one, grade Kyle. fuel. They've got one up there. But you need a pilot's license for that one. They've yeah, one yeah, that's there. that's the first one that they've built, and you do need a pilot's license because that thing essentially is a car that wings come out and then you can fly it. <laughs> it's it's a pretty basic design, but that new one, and what they don't show you in that picture that you have up on screen is that those propellers would actually be out for it to be flying on the wings. Those aren't like special jets. Propellers come out from them. But no, I think it's a really good idea, and I'm really excited to see what this company does, but... I, I don't have high hopes for how the government will react to it. If they do ever allow it to be, you know, as user friendly and easily used as the people are making it to be, it's going to cost you an arm and a leg because you got to give the government your <laughs> chunk if you want to have any fun, Sam. You know that. And, and it's even got a parachute that when it lands, the GPS won't let it land on someone's house. It's amazing. Yeah, and if it starts to free fall for whatever reason, the parachute automatically deploys. Like, it, it's a really, really safe design, what they have. And they have it set up to where you can fly it, where you just hit a button and it flies you wherever you want to go. Or you can go under manual control while following a GPS map. So, it looks like a really, really cool idea. I'm excited about it. I'm just not excited about our government. They're not going to let it be cool. They're going to make it not fun. They're the fun suckers. They're the they're the the gym teacher at recess who blows the whistle anytime you start laughing. <laughs> That's our government. So I don't know. I think it is a cool design though. Yeah, totally. So uh, Kyle, uh, we're almost to the hour mark, and uh, we sort of uh, breeze past any type of entertainment time. Can we get in, in, into uh, entertainment, Kyle? Go ahead. Oh wait, wait. Before can can I really quickly talk about one more thing before entertainment? Yeah, for sure. Go for it. Um, and I want to talk to D-Lake about this, especially as uh, Illinois just passed uh, medical marijuana. As of the first, it is law. Um, oh, they have please. a reasonable amount of time to pass legislation around it. They don't yeah, think that you're going to see... They don't think you're going to see anything until April and realistically till the uh, end of the year is when you'll probably uh, see dispensaries. What uh, do you think, D-Lake? You, you live in a medical marijuana state. Uh, how yeah, do you think this yeah. is going to go? Good luck with that. How, how does that go in California? I mean, good luck with that. We had uh, medical marijuana here in uh, California, and then uh, we, we were the very first state to vote for it, if, uh, if I'm correct in that. I think so. The, the medical, and, and then Colorado now, they're the ones that get it first recreational and illegal. I mean, actually legal. Like, it's to criminalize other places. And it's sort of like you can get away with a uh, with a baby amount. I mean, that's why I've always tried to stay lowest on the food chain. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so I mean, what happens <laughs> over there? Are you saying there's not dispensaries and stuff? I know uh, they court they set had up by him. look a yeah. bunch of dispensaries opened up like right up the street from me. There was like three, okay, but they all had to since shut down. And then I said to my friend who had a license. Uh, and could get all kinds of medical stuff, and uh, I said uh, all, all the all the all the far, all the pharmacies shut down. What's going or uh, uh, you know the medicinal shops, you know, they all shut down. Uh, what's going on? Yeah, they all got shut down, but now they they just deliver, is what I heard. So that so there's delivery guys. For so that. now there's like a. You used to be that you system. gave your pizza delivery man. Weed. Now your pizza delivery man is giving weed. <laughs> no, now you give your weed delivery man pizza. Yeah. <laughs> he brings you weed and you're like, man, you must be hungry. Here, I just. That's awesome. Yeah, man. I you just made it. <laughs> Genius. I, so I seriously, seriously, someone's gonna deliver you weed. You're like, I had enough time to make like a pizza before you got here with the weed because you're on weed dealer time. You know? <laughs> you take it's like, fucking ever. Well, I was like, like, yeah, I'll be there in 30 minutes. Long. He's like, oh, I don't know, man. You know, 
I got stoned and this <laughs> some other stuff came up and sorry I was late. I'm like, oh, I was fucking feeding. It's like, can I meet you at eight? And it's like, okay, whatever. <laughs> Eight's cool. So how hard is it to get that medical card out in California? Is it easy oh. or hard? Dude, there was PT cruisers with uh uh you know the sign wraps. Yeah, you, yeah. You know how the cars get a wrap? Yeah. It, it, it had a wrap on it that was like, visit Dr. So and so, he'll give you your for forty five bucks or thirty three bucks or just like just come in and visit this doctor if you want weed. It had like weed leaves on it. It's just like you need a weed card? Visit Dr. So and so for thirty three bucks in San Diego. He'll he'll hook you up. Really? What do you got? Headaches, eye problems, back pain, uh, your shoulder freezes up a little bit, fucking weed, dude. That's what you need. Glaucoma, <laughs> don't worry about it. Your dog is, is having problems, getting old. We can't prescribe it to the dog, but if, the, if, if you happen to blow some towards your dog, I mean, we can't be held responsible for that. New World Order, you know what I mean? <laughs> so... How many people out there have a card? I'm not going to ask you if you have a card, but do you know a lot of people who have these medical cards? I don't have a card, but I know plenty of people that have a card. <coughs> and, uh, and but, but in Colorado, you don't need a card anymore. It's legal. You can go to adult shops. I mean, they say adult shops to make it sound all porno-y and all hip. Yeah. Hippie and dirty and, and, and kind of risque. And, Can I and, get a two-in-one bong dildo? <laughs> yeah. You got to buy your weed. That's a idea. They make it sound like you, the mainstream media makes it sound like you got to buy your weed in the red light district of Colorado. But the truth is that Colorado uh, weed shops are selling out of the weed, and it's just, like, insane. And uh, th one of the problems that I think is that Colorado is selling all this weed, and Colorado does have the ability to grow great weed, but I think one of the problems is going to escalate to be that due, uh, due to supply and demand, California is going to have to legalize weed as well because where the hell do you think Colorado is going to get the best shit from? <laughs> California. Right? I'm sorry, dude. Yeah, I don't think I want exactly. to grow it. I don't think we I know how much more. legalize the medical first. And I don't care if Alan Dushwood says uh, that uh, that's uh, medical marijuana is a ridiculous front for for yeah for legalization. Okay, you want to tax it in Colorado? The tax on the weed that they can get those in those stores is twenty nine point nine percent. So there's already a high ass tax on it in Colorado. I did a special report. You're good. Tax all about it. it. No, I'm oh, fine with them taxing it. Marijuana, according to Lady Bud and Vanessa Waltz on Lady Bud. See, I'm not going to lie. I have, I have a ton of back problems. I wouldn't mind being able to get a lolly every once in a while, you know? Just have a little a little dum-dum, you know? Nothing big. Yeah. Nothing too hardcore. A little THC. What about, what about uh, Christina Marie and, and her THC? Her hemp oil <sighs> saving her life. She's not the only one either. A lot of people have been doing that. Um, exactly. There's a doctor what about who's hemp oil? There was a doctor recently on Joe Rogan who very openly said that if he could get hemp oil legally, he would bathe in it. Something along those lines. He would rub it all over himself. Why not? doesn't hurt. In yeah, fact, it does the opposite. It makes you all tingly. A little back massage, the whole, the whole thing. might make you freak out and start thinking about that girl that you were kind of a dick to freshman year, but, uh, you know, that's a side effect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You might start thinking about all those times that you, you know, yelled at your mom when you were a little kid and, you know, that time that you made a dumb mistake and, you know, cut somebody off and, and broke their bumper and had to go to traffic school and uh, that fight you got in with the kid, you know, in eighth grade that probably could have been avoided. You know, you'll think about all those things, but, you know, you'll come out of it a better person. It's all good. <laughs> Kyle, uh, Kyle, I'm, I think I'm losing my voice today right now, guys. Uh, Kyle, I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, Sam, uh, what do you have, <laughs> Sam, what, what do you got going in entertainment? Have you seen, read, heard, or uh, otherwise sensed anything uh, intriguing in entertainment lately? Go ahead, Sam. I want to let everyone know that something really entertaining is going to be on here over next week. We have... Uh, Truth Stream Media, Aaron Dykes. I don't, I'm not sure if Melissa's coming or not, but she certainly is invited onto the show. Uh, Aaron and Melissa uh, from Truth Stream Media 
um, next Saturday. So whatever you do, make sure you're here for that. Um, lately, I uh, I have a friend that has been listening to the uh, last Arch Enemy CD quite a bit, and I will say that is a wicked, wicked CD. Uh, between working on the video and everything, I haven't really gotten yeah. to see a lot. I do a lot of like documentaries and stuff. If you go to the correct views on YouTube, you can see my uh, history. Just, right uh, on. Hey, uh, just just for people listening right now, what Sam just brought up, you know, I, I try to be like executive producer here uh, on the fly. He brings up True Stream Media. I go to the page. Boom. I, bring it up, I can bring it up here. I'm on my screen share. Everybody check it out. I'll post by Aaron Dykes and Melissa Milton, and we think they're great. And, uh, yeah, we, what, we have them scheduled for next week. Is that right? We do. And uh, not all... Not only is their channel always full of the most up-to-date news, but they also have uh, some of the best opinion pieces you can see. So, I mean, and, and they, they do a lot. Like, uh, they, they helped my last uh, update get out there uh, in front of people, and uh, just a class act. You're going to want to see it next time. Yeah, I'm very excited for them. And yeah, other people... Yeah. Unbelievably friendly, uh, Aaron was to me at Bilderberg. Just and right. then he he didn't just remember me; he remembered Christelle. I mean, he's just a cool guy. Yeah, class acts, uh, Melissa and Aaron. There, I agree. Can't wait to have him on the show uh, coming up. Uh, other guests we had planned for today: uh, our super special reporter correspondent Anthony Court didn't make today's show. He's busy uh, uh, doing his own thing. So. <laughs> <laughs> that was mean. I'm sorry, Court. He's 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 busy like uh, Chris Christie. He doesn't have time to worry about the bridges being closed down. If one of his aides did it, well, he'll just fire them. Okay. No, but uh, I I will say that the person that should be coming on in the near future, hopefully, it wasn't we're not me. sure of exactly one. Look, it wasn't me, Kyle. I'll just fire somebody else. It was their fault, not mine. I'm still a contender for president. I continue to be D like for France. Kyle, go ahead. Yeah. And I am excited for the person we were supposed to have on today. <clears throat> uh, I'm sure they'll be on in the future. I got a lot of Star Trek Most that sense. I need to talk about with them. Yeah. That's all I'm going to say. But uh, since we're doing a little bit of inter entertainment section, you know what I've been watching recently? Good show on Netflix. Been watching Marin, season one, up on Netflix. The show by and about Mark Marin, about his podcast, about his life. Hmm. Good show. I think everybody should check out Marin on Netflix. Yeah, I just uh, last weekend I watched uh, the f episodes one through six of House of Cards. It's from Netflix, but I was able to get it on Redbox. Episodes one through six, thought it was really good. Apparently, season two is about to drop, and everybody's excited for that. And I I thought the episodes that I watched were good, intriguing. I want to see some more. And uh, I don't know, I might have to go to Target and buy some, but I'm afraid to go there because I don't want my credit card and my uh, numbers to be hacked. I watched a little bit of House of Cards. I didn't really get into it too much. I liked it, but it just, I don't know, it wasn't my kind of show. But I, did, like. I didn't, like, dislike it. There's shows that I watch, and I'm just like, this is stupid. But I didn't, I didn't have that feeling about that show. Yeah, that's I mean, because I'm, you have a sweet, innocent girlfriend, and you need to... Uh, uh, that shows all about his ruthless bitch wife. But go ahead, uh, Sam. Oh, I know. I wanted to tell everybody about what you were talking about earlier. Go to ecowatch.com. This just dropped about three minutes ago. Toll of U.S. sailors devastated by Fukushima radiation continues to climb. I just wanted to toss that in there and go rewind and patch it into it. But uh, you're going to want to read it because the, uh, the numbers are going up of the people who are sick. They have to refile the lawsuit. It's going so bad here. Oh, so many uh, of the... Uh, ha well, I mean, uh, last I heard it was over 58%. How many uh, toll of U.S. sailors devastated by Fukushima continues to rise? Uh, how, uh, what was the... Um, I mean... It was seven. The, the, initial, uh, the initial lawsuit began with over uh, close to 48% or something, and now it's over 50% of the crew or 70 or where are we at? It was 70-some people. Um, I'm trying to get an exact number on it because I just got this oh. sent to me. Okay, it, similar complaints have surfaced among so many sailors from yes. the Reagan and other U.S. ships that have that uh, 
Boner says he's... But no, that's Bonner. Bonner says he's being contacted by new litigants on a daily basis with the number exceeding 70. Yes, it was it was over 70. Now with this, mm -hmm. it's hard to say. Wait, go back to that website. Go back real quick to let's see. I want to see D Lake's screen here. I'm I'm focusing on it. Go I'm go back e down. I'm on EcoWatch.com. Go back down com. to that. Yeah, go back down to that ad on the side. What is that? Who's their Who's their weapon supplying affiliate? <laughs> oh, Devor. D Devor, I think is how you say that. So you know what? Fuck it. Go over to their website and buy some knives from them too. You know what? That's how you can tell if a website is trustworthy. If you can't find an uh -huh. ad for weapons, you shouldn't be there. Frankly, that's so true. Yeah, well, <laughs> we advertise Bud K for uh, seventy percent off, and uh, these people advertise Devor. I'm sure they make great knives. I'm sure that they do. Let's see what they got. I'm curious. What's that website uh, name again? Eco. Yeah, these pictures are kind of fan. This is nowhere near as cool as Bud K. Forget about them. It's true. They're really not. But I like their website and the fact that they have a weapon uh, advertiser. That's good. Yeah, yeah, good for Eco Watch. But go to the mediaspeaks.com, click on Bud K. Anyways, <laughs> if, if if you're looking for knives, we we were talking about the Fukushima, but we were actually talking about entertainment. It started with house cars. We just keep spiraling into different stuff, flying cars, all this other the stuff. The news is just flying. It's just flying today. People. Scientists create toe, belly, button cheese from human bacteria. Cheese is known for its stinky odor. But cheese is at one exhibit at the Science Gallery Dublin and Trinity College what Dublin come from an especially smelly source. Human toe, armpit, belly button, and mouth bacteria, self-made, which is part of the Grow Your Own Life After Nature exhibition, features different microbial sketches of cheeses created with bacteria samples from various people. It says literally Each... soil and green. Listen. Each cheese supposedly smells similar to the donor's body odor. <laughs> Do you like, I, I, I'm humbled. Because I, I, always, I try to find the ways to, to, to gross people out on a daily basis. And you, D. Lake, I am humbled. And I am honored to know you, D. Lake. You are good. All so right, people thanks, are man. eating that, then. I will be terrorizing people with that for many, many eons. That's a, I'm going to call that soil and cheese. Sam. That should be the yeah, name soil of it. and cheese. All right, guys. Well, thanks, <laughs> thanks, Sam, for the brilliant com compliment. I was trying to gross people out. Uh, getting close to the end. I'm D Lake for Prez. Uh, it was so great to be joined by uh, Kyle Phillips of the Media Speaks. The media is here on YouTube. Please, everybody, go check out his uh, award-winning entry into the Infowars.com NSA TSA contest. <laughs> Genesis, the Genesis movie trailer, and there's a big surprise in there that I don't want to spoiler. Uh, no spoilers. Okay, spoiler. Waterworld Genesis. What the hell are you talking about, D Lake? I don't know. Go watch the video by Kyle Phillips, and also <laughs> be sure to check out the new music video I charts. We got a sample of it uh, on on today's show by Sam Ibita Ganji, Sam of the. Uh, Sam of Passing Time, but also the special music project for the Infowars.com contest called Closet Monster. Their song, I Charts, I worked on a project. Another song called Platform I think is really good, and we're probably going to be releasing that as a special video in the upcoming future. Oh, uh, yes. My most recent report, all about Glenn Greenwald uh, versus Webster Tarpley and some douchebag. On my YouTube said uh, Tarpley's a clown, and then I went to his page, and apparently that guy's a clown, and he watches other goony clowns that I would never watch on YouTube. I was going to talk about all that earlier in the show, but I let it go, because this show to me is like therapy. Sometimes the news builds up so much stuff you want to talk about, get a lot out on the Saturday shows. That's what's so great about what we do. That's why we're at the tip of the spear of spreading information, especially on Saturdays. We 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 effing own Saturday, okay? And you can check out the rebroadcast on Stitcher and iTunes and on the MediaSpeaks.com and listen and to the audio in your headphones and in your car and all that other stuff, right, Kyle? Yep. And uh, we just recently got on Podkicker too, which is an Android app. Whoa!
That's the epileptic crowd. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Wait, Stitcher? Uh, 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 yeah, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, Stitcher, Stitcher, okay, yeah! Hell yeah! Which you can go to TheMediaSpeaks.com and you can click the link to get Stitcher if you don't have it already. You don't just listen to us on there. You can listen to Joe Rogan, Adam Carolla, Mark Levin, Alex Jones, yeah. Rachel fucking Maddow if you want to. You can listen to everything on Stitcher. Yeah. It's a pretty even playing field. Okay, before we wrap up, speaking of even playing fields, today we're broadcasting on Google Hangout. It's sort of our medium of choice. It's not the same as an actual show that doesn't have a big Google logo in the corner. I know Sam's trying to get away from that. I think but, it's like great. But we right are here. broadcasting the show on there. And, uh, you know, I, I think they're hypnotizing me. I, I forgot where I was going with all that. Fuck you, Google. Gaggle. If anybody knows a good alternative to Google that is free, Google Hangout, yeah. that will save your video after you do it, uh, the correct view is on hotmail.com. Let me know. I doubt that there is, though, because the sad fact of it is that there is a Google Hangout and like all the tools that we use to run the website, they ain't free. We're paying for them in information. Like, we're oh, paying. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's something else that I wanted to bring up. Guys, do you think that the internet is free? Do you think that we're on a free internet? Because I get a cable bill. No. Yeah, yeah. Before you answer, let me just say that uh, this morning when I woke up and got on my computer because I suck at paying bills and uh, getting my mail and all that other stuff, it, it, uh, my internet was like, uh, "Delay, you didn't pay your uh, Cox cable bill, and uh, you have to pay that." And here's the number, but that number never works. I have to call the one that I already have stored in my uh, fancy uh, smartphone. And then I call them and enter my credit card number on the phone, which I'm sure no one could drive by and pick up that information or hack me like at Target or Neiman Marcus. Never. Uh, no, that, that can never happen. Uh, I had to uh, pay uh, 130 bucks past due uh, amount to get the internet turned back on and be able to broadcast to you, uh, ladies and gentlemen, live today on today's show. So, I mean, I so hope you, you appreciate that. I hope you appreciate that I paid for Cox this morning. See, I don't have actual cable cable. I only have internet. I don't have uh, cable or any of the stations or anything. Uh, Kyle, uh, how are you on the internet? And is it free or do you pay money? Um, I don't pay for it right now because... Kyle I've still dials before. in with his phone. It's all... Yeah, I have to take the phone off the hook and put it on another thing, like in War Games, and then I have yeah. to dial the number manually. <laughs> no, uh, right now... Kyle's uh, on Sundial. Yeah, I, I connect to the internet via, uh, you know, infrared light and smoke yeah. signals. I have to convert them into binary. It takes me a very long time. But no, right now we actually, we're living with uh, Megan's dad to save money. Hopefully we're going to be buying a condo or a a small townhome in the next few months. And so Fancy. he's got the full cable package, which I've been fully taking advantage of. So he's got internet and TV and stuff. But before, when we had our apartment... Is he ever, uh, like, is he ever like, hey, uh, I noticed you do a live show every Saturday. Can you chip it on the cable? No, not on the cable, but other things. But uh, no, uh, he's got the full package, which is nice, you know, having the cable to watch network TV. But we... uh. When it's just us, hey, like our I got last two package, I own you. <laughs> the last two apartments that we've had, though, we just had cable and nothing else. I'd rather get the yeah. full high-speed internet and not have TV because we don't watch TV anyways. We watch Netflix and we watch stuff online, and I listen to Podkicker and Stitcher, so I don't need and, it. And has uh, he caught you watching porno yet? Uh, not yet, but I'm not gonna rule that possibility out. All right, you better be sly, and don't forget to clear your history. Um, do you like for Prez? Uh, it's been a great show today on TheMediaSpeaks.com. Uh, Sam, why don't you give us your closing? That's mine, and uh, Kyle, and then we'll call it a show. Friends, I want to uh, once again say that when Platform does drop and you see what d -Lake has done with that video as we remix our audio, that you're going to love it. Um, go Thanks. to... Uh, um, 
youtube.com slash the correct views and go to the media speaks.com uh, there's over an hour of brand new uh, Fukushima news up I probably went through 15 articles or more uh, I've got commentary on it there's a few things I've put together that I haven't seen on other sites so please come out if you can and uh, hey, Kyle uh, hey Sam uh, no before we go to Kyle Sam, when when are we gonna wrap up that video? I mean, I only have like a half hour to an hour left to to wrap it up. Maybe put in some awesome cool uh, effects and fonts and stuff uh, for the titles and all that. Well, now that we missed, I mean, it. When, sh sh should we hold off? When, when are we gonna release this bitch? Now that we missed it, we might just go ahead and send you another audio track. Yeah, you, you gotta figure Alex is good for a contest every few months. I yeah, good just, for hits, right? I, I, well, that and it really gets it out there. And I think at this point, we've put so much work into the video that instead of hitting a few hundred people, I want to wait till I can hit a few thousand. Drop well, it. Uh, well, that, that's kind of how we all got our start. That's kind of how we all met. It's something we could all uh, go on InfoWars and talk about right now. I don't, I don't understand why that hasn't already happened. But regardless, uh, Kyle, uh, your video is great. Sam, your video is great. Uh, Sam, thanks for that uh, closing. Don't forget to go oh, to the sure. Arcadia Grill if you're in Ohio, right? Sam, I'm messing with you. Kyle, why don't you take us out? Go ahead. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks, everybody, for tuning no, in. Like, oh, okay, right, go yeah, ahead, Sam. No, yeah, I got a delay. No, go ahead. A little delay it's, on the uh, Arcadia Grill there? Go ahead. <laughs> I think a delay on the Arcadia. I, I, like, I'm, what, the screen just froze. Yes, if, you, uh, if you're on Canton, go to the Arcadia Grill at Ravioli, calling your name. Ravioli, that sounds good. Kyle, go ahead. So good. Out. I love ravioli. One time I ate a ton of ravioli, and I was like, mmm, that was some good ravioli. If you like everything we do here at the Media Speaks, you should check out all of our YouTube channels, David Lay, Correct Views, Constant Don't Injustice. The Media is here. The Media Speaks, D-O-T, com on YouTube, or make it real easy on yourself. Go to TheMediaSpeaks.com. Find the full culmination of all the information that we put together as well as an ad to go to budcase.com and buy some crazy weaponry. So that's who we are. That's why we're where you can find everything. You can also find us in MP3 format on Stitcher, iTunes, and on Podkicker for Android. So check us out. Get the app. Listen on the go. Listen while you're in the shower. Listen while you're eating a weed sucker and thinking about all those people that you were mean to in middle school. I'm Kyle Phillips, and thanks for watching the show.